So the final thing we're going to look at that is platformer only specific. If we're going to look at dying, what happens if the player dies? What options can we do? So there will be more tutorials based on stuff that apply to both platform and top-down games. So there'll be more stuff that continue with this, such as picking up coins, keys and doors, etc. and enemies. But this is the only one that's left that's platformer specific. So what can we do if the player actually dies? So we've got our player here. If he falls off the edge, at the moment what happens is nothing. Just falls and falls down and keeps falling, but we can still move the camera. Not very good for the player because another player is stuck. So we want a way to do something for the player, either restart them at a checkpoint, or in this case, we're just going to restart the level. We'll be looking at checkpoint stuff a bit later down the line. So first thing we need to do is we need to add a brand new behavior to our character. And we're going to do destroy outside of layout. This means as soon as they're outside the layout, the character is destroyed and no longer exists. So that's the first step. On its own, this will not fix our problem though. So now when we go down, character's destroyed. We just can't move left and right anymore. That's just been disabled. What we need to do is go to something called our event sheet. Now, this is something we've not looked at before. So our event sheet is where we can start doing a bit more advanced functionality to our game. We're going to add something called an event. And this event is based on the player. So we're going to scroll down. And we're going to check for a certain trait of the player. So the one we want is on destroyed. So is the player being destroyed? So this is the condition that must be met. So if the player is destroyed, what's going to happen? We can add multiple things that happen if the player is destroyed, but we'll keep it simple for now. We can go to system. I'm going to scroll down. We're going to go restart layout. So what this will do is this will put everything back to the beginning of the game again for that layout for that level so we'll click next and that's it we can also do some other stuff we want such as play a certain sound or have some flash or change the background anything like that but for now if the play is destroyed restart the layout so let's test it so here's our player i'm going to make a jump i'm then going to jump to the end platform and i don't make it now you see my play is right back to the beginning where they were before so it's a very very simple bit of code it's not going to put you back to a checkpoint but it will put you back to where your player was at the start of the layout in this case mine was here it just resets everything this is a really nice simple and quick option you can add for now